your life and your family. Only Yeshua will reign forever to his kingdom. There will be no end in the land of Ghana. Only Yeshua. Hey. There will be no end. Uh, hallelujah. Only a true will reign for it to his kingdom. And we're going to sing this together. Real simple. It just says, For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Sing it with us. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lift your voices and join us. Sing. For thine is the power and the glory. Just say forever. It's always hungered for Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Good evening everybody. It is good to see each and every one of you today, virtually as it were. Prophet John Haggai here. Welcome to Marvelous Light. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We look in this direction today. Uh, not the angle that I'm used to. We've changed a little bit here in the studio for the better part of making it easy for broadcasting. I welcome each and every one of you tonight. Come on in from Facebook to YouTube. Everybody watching from all over the world welcome you to this bible study i believe and i know that god will speak to you tonight in his name and through his word by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus amen magnify his name you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace our hearts always hungered for mm. hungered for one more time you are the one that we praise you are the one we 
Hearts always hungered for, hearts always hungered for. I welcome each and every one of you tonight. We want to pray, get into the word of God tonight. I'd like you to open up your mouth wherever it is that you are. Get your notebook, get your pen if you may, get your iPad, whatever it is that you have to write on. It is important for Zion to be able to know that his people, if it is the people of God, he said, they shall be delivered through knowledge. The righteous shall be delivered through knowledge. Oh yeah, there are many dimensions of deliverance. Laying of hands, casting out demons, impartation of spiritual power and stuff like that. That brings a lot. Of deliverance and deliverance is in multi dimension it is not just one-sided uh, regarding demonology but if it is Zion and God's people he said my people are perishing for the lack of knowledge very interesting that he didn't mention a demon there he said if it is his people it is always that there is an absence of what it is that you must know and I'll be talking about that tonight Kemanusha begin to pray open up your mouth this is a ministry bathed in prayer maintained in prayer uh, we will do the rest of the things as we God will permit us but we are a people of priesthood I'd like you to open up your mouth and tell the Lord I've come tonight one more time for an encounter with light Hola mi semena compari adine. Zola varaso ko brekem pemi atala. Veros kem brekite didi bi cantola kam. Mi cantolo ko barazus ke brekide de via salamana. Mi combe dia tala lavunte. Rasco breketes. Salive dia parasco mana campemi. Melo comba talika tidia paradosh. Red of Eruzazia Capara Domana Campemi Zala Catin Tekina Kidia Bros Combre Kitalida Varadani Yadushe Mena Campalia Soda da Barante Kemene Kentelia Niso Brataz Azizi via Campola Macante Kennedy Satako Halia Caparos Combre Kitalida Vararush Soda Baranto Cobrentelia Kama Mikatu talida berzibia ya kwante kene kede de bia sota kabarada rado seke prekenteli tibia kamana na munama vebo sakabadua mila kunte kina kadidi vi salama antoma rado seke prekenteli varuski didi bikafo makampali nani soza vi talina makantolia anana mantemi i open up myself to the ministry of the word and to the ministry of the spirit of god as it gets administered tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost farus kem prekenta lida da varusha maha enkoda di biantele kida da varusa mikwata kampe minanonda yes do not pass me by while on others thou art calling do not pass me by through your word. I have come for an encounter with that same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead. I shouldn't be the same again. I shall return. I shall return in the power of the spirit in the power of the spirit yes yes the people that know their god that do know their god the people Roduakampe li katante via, sonama anakampe minanala, le kombres kombre kitali navani. Yes, cleanse me from the inside out. 
remove religion unbelief uh, distraction uh, yes the works of the flesh I submit it uh, yes under the blood of Jesus um, at the foot of the cross tonight uh, I come oh God that I may experience the Lordship of the Spirit of God that I may experience the Lordship of the Spirit of God that I may experience the Lordship of the Spirit of God over my life this Salina open up your mouth pray Kadia Sela Rado Sekemena Kampemina Nana Mantemia Zora Takampeli Katadia Tenevina Rado Shekete Keberegade Milakwata Kampemina Tali Zozavia Kaparos Kombrekitali Navara Thank you Holy Father All I want yeah to be within your love to be undone by who you are i am desperate for your touch of heaven mm. thank you father oh we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise because of who you are. We ask that the Spirit of God will come upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Fall afresh. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Welcome each and every one of you tonight in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. I welcome you suddenly, each and every one of you today, from wherever it is that you're watching us from. Jesus is Lord. Let me reach out to take some things that I will need here. In the name of the Lord, I welcome each and every one of you again. In the name of Jesus. Go with me to the book of Ephesians chapter number 3. Ephesians chapter number 3. Mm. In this place where you are. Cover me, carry me in your love, of oh, love. Draw me close to you. Ephesians chapter number 3, I am reading from verse number 14. My verse of emphasis is verse number 20. But for context, let's begin to pick it up from verse number 14. Thank you, Holy Father. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus, of whom all family in heaven is named that he would grant you and so this is prayer now that he would grant you according according to the riches of his glory that he might grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man I, I, I need to take a break here one of the seven spirits of God as according to revelation is the spirit of might and that can come upon an individual you and I and yet the might 
that he is releasing is not that of Samson. He is not talking about muscular power. Um, he is not talking about Kratos as a dimension of the seven of power. In, in terms of might. He is talking about might by his spirit within your spirit. That goes to show then that there is a certain boldness that a lean figured man, young woman can have in the face of adversity, in the face of whatsoever is confronting that one young woman and the facility of the might of God having come upon this individual will bring about a different, what do you say, reaction, confession. The way they will be able to handle is because their inner man, my God, has been strengthened by might. Sir, can I tell you? Mm, life is full of adversity. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, uh, life will learn you a lesson. One way or another, the dispenser of misery and pain, the kingdom of darkness, uh, will apply equally and more so to the children of light. And sir, can I help you tonight? Uh, if you are going to be able to have dominion in the face of the earth in the presence of adversity hear me and hear me strong it will be that your inner man has been strengthened by his might he said in the book of proverbs if you faint in the day of adversity then the diagnosis if you may the the answer, the, the equal answer to the other side of that question is that your strength be small. Please hear me. If you faint in the day of adversity, he says your inner man has not been strengthened by the might of his spirit. Sir, it is not masculinity. Life does not answer to that. Come on now. It don't matter whether you are as pretty as whatsoever. It will not answer to that dimension. Because um, uh, there will be a place in life uh, where both the ugly and the pretty, where the lean and the muscular, where the rich and the poor are put on an equal scale of misery, in an equal scale of adversity, in an equal scale of pain. Uh, the difference would be what has strengthened your inner man is it the might of his spirit uh, or is it life he said my prayer i can believe i've not even gotten to my verse in my prayer to you efficient charge is that uh, you may be able to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Hmm. Mm. Listen to me. If you've not gotten to certain levels of your journey in faith where you will truly have to rely <laughs> On the strength of the Almighty and that his might has strengthened you in your spirit you will faint many days yes and those faintings will be the absence of he that can be able to strengthen men in days of adversity now I will hasten to tell you here when Paul is talking here, he is speaking about the Spirit of God. Please note that. 
and he says then uh, you may be able to be strengthened with might and it is one of the spirits seven spirits of Adonai uh, my God your God has might but yet the might that he is about to dispense he is directing it to the inner man mm. why would it be important for the inner man to be strengthened and who is the inner man yeah there is a spirit in man the Bible declared in the book of Job there is a spirit in man essentially you have a soul you belong to a body you live in a body and you have a spirit the Bible declared that it if, if it is the might of God to come and if it is that God would have to strengthen any of his sons it is that his might will be directed to the inner man yeah the inner man I have no time for tonight to begin to deal with the inner man but suffice it to say that he is talking about your spirit which has been regenerated by his spirit see salvation then is in three dimensions mm. salvation is in three dimensions number one you are born again who gets to be saved immediately you have received Jesus your spirit is born of the Spirit of God regeneration begins to talk to take effect immediately you confess that Jesus is Lord if you fell down and died on the spot your spirit man will be taken up to the presence of God because you have confessed the Bible declared in the book of Romans that if truly then you have to know the context of your salvation he said don't say who shall go up to bring Christ down or should go down to bring Christ up but the word is nigh even unto thy mouth and then he says father he says then if you confess with your mouth yeah confession with your mouth belief in your heart you are saved when you confess with your mouth you get into belief system which comes from your heart the forgiveness of your sin is out of the confession of your mouth that Jesus is Lord and number two that he is the Savior only uh, you believe in your heart it is accounted unto you as righteousness right standing standing on the right side with God number two dimension of salvation is after your spirit has been saved your soul which is the interface between your body your spirit in here is your soul in here is your soul and the soul of a man can never be saved at once it will continue to be saved uh, theologically they call that sanctification it is progressive salvation there is nothing theologically correct with men that have taught out before that one saved forever saved no you can lose your salvation I will shut that again you can lose your salvation because your faith embedded in Jesus is coming out of your spirit if he does not become Lord over you in your body in your lifetime in your intellect in your mind in your will your will will frustrate the Spirit of God embedded in your spirit yes sir <laughs> yeah that's been peddled a lot regarding salvation and there are a lot of 
theological conundrums and school of thoughts. But hear me and hear me well. One of the depriving factor to the spirit of God and to the price of redemption. And of course the, the, the dividends of redemption is the soul of a man. You will do well to check my teachings here on YouTube. The soul series. You will find this kind of thing. Many be born again, many be they that love Jesus, but also many be they that under sanctification, the Spirit of God can be able to fasten himself and to have lordship over them. When we teach and on matters of the lordship of Jesus, we actually are attacking the soul that does not want to be seated or to be yielded to the government of the Holy Spirit. Because in your inner man. He is come as savior. But where is your soul. And where he is, is his lordship. His lordship. Will be around the area. Of your soul. Because he will talk to your spirit. In your inner man. To tell you hey. Wake up. Your soul which is comprised of your will. Of your emotions. And of your mind will tell you, not this sleep is too good. You can you prayed yesterday, you don't have to pray now. You will frustrate the effort of the Spirit of God from whispering to the whole of you, the dealing of the Spirit at that particular moment, because you are soul led. The soul is mostly where the flesh comes along. The flesh will take advantage of an unyielded soul. Please understand me. The soul will take advantage of an unyielded soul. It is your will that will go against the will of God. When you are rebellious and you are against God to the extent that you have reneged and given up on your faith. What happened is, is that your will fought the will of God. And your spirit, the spirit that was saved, begins now to yield towards the tendencies of your will, which is your flesh. And eventually, you begin to come to the place where it, begins, it becomes agonizing for God to lead you. He leaves you to your own desire. And eventually the Lord that makes men to be rebellious, that is the devil, begins to find expression. And eventually the state of the man that you used to call saved, believer, becomes worse. And he will fight tooth and nail anything that is of faith and of God because he's opened himself up to the yielding yearnings of the flesh so Paul is praying and he's saying that he would grant you according and he's gonna repeat that word again according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit so you can be strengthened sir the, the, the difference between men that know how to endure in the dispensation and in the season where God is and where life is happening at the same breath. It is men that have been endued with the might of his spirit in their inner man. Hmm. So I'm going to pose a question tonight. Who is leading you? Because this entire infrastructure, when he says, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, thus to strengthen with might, to strengthen with might, to be strengthened with might, to be strengthened with might in your inner man it is that the spirit of god in this scripture is leading and that that reality does not mean 
that there will be no circumstances, situations in life that will challenge this kind of might. The theology, one more time, that once you have been born again, all should become bread and butter in the territory and it should be easy for you to achieve things and end, and end up in life uh, very cheaply and have issues uh, I mean have no issues and have stuff just working out is not only wrong theology but it breaks spiritual laws yeah and one of the spiritual laws is the law of incarnation yeah because when god became flesh sent into through the womb of a woman the bible declared that in the fullness of time god sent his son born under the law it is under the law many laws but the conformity for god to become a seed born of a woman it was that he had to be come flesh he wasn't flesh he became it and so if you begin then to frustrate the might of the spirit of god upon an individual and a man and a woman born of a woman also and made by the law of the grace of god and redeemed by the blood of jesus it is that you are going against the law that God created and brought it forth to be able to bring forth Christ born of a woman made under the law that in all ways he was tempted yet without sin when you begin to touch that immediately you are touching on the centrality and the infill uh, 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 infallibility of God's word because then you will begin to touch on salvation begin to touch on redemption begin to touch on the love of god begin to touch on the law of sin and death you will go all the way to genesis chapter number one all the way and god will never allow that got many things to say there but i will leave it i'm not gonna press any further uh, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man see the difference between the believer that is going through the fire and another believer that is going through the same fire is that which I've touched here now might in the inner man yeah might of the spirit of god in the inner as a matter of fact then it begins to behoove the average believer to get to know that is why the knowledge of god is important yeah and i'm gonna touch that in a moment uh, <clears throat> because in verse number 20 where we are gonna head in a moment he said he is able to do but it is according to the power yes that same spirit to the dynamis dynamic power dynamic power that works in the inside of us not outside the creative ability of a spirit filled man the engagement and the investment of the same holy spirit as i've taught you on sunday is that that man that lives by and walks by and filled by the spirit the economy that he should operate in is super different from men that were never filled with the spirit of god and yet we are underpaid and under living we are unprivileged and we are in the place where this type and depth of knowledge has not been taught and if it has been somehow 
it has not been balanced with the truth of the gospel doctrine and the breath of the Almighty has not breathed upon several of those ones why because then it has begun to tend towards our uh, inner worship worship of the soul and the creative ability of a gifted man or begin to worship creation which is you and I and begin to live out the Creator that is why he says here it is that you shall be strengthened with might not your might not your intellectual might not you're going to do a kakra and you've got to look within your uh, transcendental meditative uh, uh, value system or new age and begin to chakra whatever and you begin to channel the inside strength no as demonic we ain't talking about creative ability that comes from the gift that God created men with. That is why people have idolized themselves. The craze about people and social media and all these apps that have come, it is because it is sourced from the fallen Adam, the fallen nature. And we are trying to become almost in the context of Nimrod uh, build up a tower around uh, the human value chain and the uh, human power and uh, the, the, the coming together of the soul the spirit the mind that has not been submitted subjected to the fullness of the Lordship of God I ain't teaching about that I can dwell there all night but let's move on he says in 17 that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith I need to hurry so that I can get to my main message that he being grounded and rooted uh, grounded in love may be able to comprehend he said with all saints with all saints what is the breadth the length the depth and the height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge the love of Christ which passeth knowledge very interesting I am not gonna touch that it is the love of Christ not the love by the love of what manner of love is this that a man laid down his life for another that depth of love what manner of love is this that a man should die for another what manner of love is this that God has bestowed unto us that he should be called the sons of God what manner you see slice it dice it however you like it the whole centrality of the gospel is centered and anchored on sacrifice yeah the average uh, a theologian or uh, one that has not been subjected to the dealing of the spirit and to the lordship of the spirit of God uh, will begin to argue on matter sacrifice because it's been narrowed to money and we will blame pulpits everywhere where light has not come through why because the centrality of that which you call your salvation your Jesus was sacrificed on the altar of love yeah it is what you love that you can die for the object of his love was humanity for God so loved that he gave in his giving it was giving to the point of death it is knowledge based love he knew that he must have to bring in the children the Gentiles and the man of sin that fell through Adam to bring in another Adam a new one and that he might he must have to he must have needs to die if you need King James Version he must needs have passed through Samaria he died so that they that live so that they that he died for should not live for themselves 
So while he's doing the substitution on the right, on the left hand, the recipient would have to sacrifice his ambition and his personal aggrandizing desire and live for him. And yet at the same time, none of them will be able to lose anything. Alika sona mahante minatolia. Hmm. Peruske brezivia tali. Melola vahashai. The love of God. I said I don't want to touch it. Which because it'll begin to get into we can't even touch what we want to touch tonight. <laughs> to 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 know the love of Christ, to know it, and he is speaking about an ex. Experiential knowledge. He ain't talking about just love shed abroad across in your heart uh, and then it is a goosebump feeling. He's not um, he's not a fervescence. He's talking experiential knowledge of the love of God. And he says that depth of love passeth knowledge. My God. My God. That you can be able to sit within yourself and begin to meditate and the and the height and the width of what it is that took place on the cross your mind cannot fathom it yes sir you can't comprehend it with intellectual prowess is not is not an enterprise for the intellect did you not read psalm 139 amina hasha libres combre quintalia hosha i feel the holy ghost already listen to me he said in psalm 139 that you have encompassed me to and fro he said thou has known you're acquainted with all my ways he said such knowledge is too high for me i cannot comprehend it all the days that were fashioned for me were written in thy book yet when there were none of them hmm. Yeah, you cannot. That is why it is impossible for any man after the order of men to replicate what Jesus did. I will hasten to tell you just because uh, I, I am in the nerve. There is no spirit that can be able to be reincarnated, become a human in the totality of a human being yes sir and replicate exactly what jesus did no human no spirit that is why in Colossae, in the book of colossians chapter number one and colossians chapter number two if you may he says it pleased the father that all the fullness should dwell in jesus he says therefore then he has been risen lifted seated together with god at the right hand of the father and then he begins to mention dominion thrones it doesn't matter what throne it is principality powers whatsoever it is in the expanse of the heavens in the expanse beneath the earth and in the earth all of it was created by him and for him and without him was nothing created would you pray with me for a spirit for one moment just pray in the spirit the love of god that has been shed abroad shed across in your heart yes 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 the love of god we did we we used to sing it in Sunday school, deep and wide. There is a fountain. He said the love of God cannot be able to be comprehended. Yes, the breadth, the height, the depth of it. You cannot be able to sit in that depth of the love of God and be normal. It's what you love that you die for. Lika somana antemia. Lika skufikin kaniya tamana tompeni. He can't tell it if he are no more shy. The cobra scombra kitania that I can be able to get to know that Jesus died for me, that I'm redeemed of the Lord, not 
devil in hell or created or will ever be created can be able to separate me from the love of God. No height, no depth, no pain, no sin. Nothing can be able to separate me as long as I can be able to be in, in, entangled and embedded with the word of God and the knowledge of him. Knowledge of him. I'm sorry if I'm shouting. I'm excited. What is it that you know about the love of God? What is it that you know about God? About his love for you? In that he loved. He so loved that he killed his own son. Yes, sir. That is the raw truth of the gospel. What manner of love is this? <laughs> that a man died for another. Lombres kombre kita di atalina varro shamikatia. Kompe kita taskempe. Fanu wanana mahantemi. Glory to God. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart. Give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Mm. Have your way in me. And now, therefore, there is no height nor depth. No circumstance, whether in death, whether alive, that is able to separate you from the love of God. From the love of God. In Christ Jesus. In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him we have our being. And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge. Knowledge. That he may be filled with all the fullness of God. In other words, you can strive to press into God. Yes, sir. In your walk with him. <laughs> to the extent that you can be filled with the fullness of God. Oh, yes. With the fullness of God. <coughs> mm. With the fullness of God. With the fullness of God. Did Jesus not say the other day. What has filled a man's heart. The mouth shall speak. The inner man has the capacity to be filled with God. Anika sola mahantemia. Not religion. I don't know what has filled your spirit, sir. I don't know what is taking space and renting space and occupying space within your vessel. But, sir, I can tell it by what is coming out of your mouth. Oh yes, despite and in spite of life. Fullness of God. Yeah, fullness of God. That is a spirit in man that can sustain the well with all, sir. To be full of God. Yet he has filled the expanse. Mm. He has filled the expanse. He cannot be able to be sustained in the heavens. 
His footstool is in the earth. The heaven of the heavens belong to God. And yet he can be able to crystallize and fit in, in right into the spirit of a man. And the Bible declared, in Proverbs chapter number 8, he said that not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. She stands at the entry of the city. To you all men I call. And then he speaks, speaks down there. He says his desire is with the sons of men. Nothing excites God. And nothing pulls God out of the expanse of where he dwell. But the man that he created. Psalm chapter number 8. What is the man that your mind is full of? And yet that man. He can journey in God. Become pregnant with his personality. Yes, his principles, principality become so powerful and become so engaging walk the journey with God until he is not because God has taken him the fullness of God the fullness of God the fullness of God think about it When men begin to become gods, walk like gods, live like gods, experience like God would experience. It is that that dimension is that you, the Bible declared in the book of Hebrews 11, men that this world was not worthy of. Yeah. Oh, I'm teaching something good and something deep tonight. We are touching on something raw in the spirit. Men that the world is not worthy of. And Enoch walked with God and he was not because God took him. Who can God take? Because you've walked in such a dimension. That the world and the context, the territory is not worth of you. Pesola Kimpemia. Sidi and Televinako Salama. Fullness of God. I'm sick and tired of playing church and sick and tired of organized religion and sick and tired of uh, uh, tohunkas of darkness uh, penetrating through deceitful means in the pulpit and in, in life um, limiting the Holy One of Israel and the, experience and, the, and the experience of Him within my territory and within my experience um, and the God that I only know is a God that I found out on Sunday sick and tired yeah we have limited God to the extent that we can no longer be able to walk in dominion yes experientially because all we know is an organized system of religion ritualism He's so ritualistic that when men begin to press into God in an extraordinary level and in an extraordinary dimension, it is religious men that will look as if they are sanctified, holier than thou, deep in theology, deep in God, or a system of administration from the pit of darkness that will look societal and constructively cultural that will pull such a man down. The people that do know their God. Did he not say in the book of Daniel. Chapter number 11 and verse 32. And such that do wickedly against the covenant. Shall he flatter with flatterers. Shall he corrupt with flatter. And he's talking about an administrative system. In these days. In these last days. The antichrist spirit. But the people that do know their God shall work strong. <laughs> oh, let me get to my scripture, then we shut it down. 
Ephesians 3 and verse number 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Place mm. Nations will come and bow down. You have to help me. Mm. Now unto him. And I know you know that scripture. But hear what the Spirit of God is saying tonight. Now unto him. That is able. Ability. Is with God. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And my heart will follow holy after thee. And please note, he is praying that we may be filled with the knowledge, strengthened by might in the inner man, that we may be able to come to begin to comprehend the love that is above knowledge. And then he says, You can be also filled with the fullness of God. And then finally, he says, now unto him that is able. Yeah, able. Do you know that God is able? Forget about the second verse, the part B, uh, part B of that verse. And to him that is able to do. He is able, true. But are you knowing that he is able to do? Because knowing God has been invested. The knowledge of God has been invested to you and I. By his power. And even on an average believer. The knowledge of God invested in you. Is by redemption. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And so what you do to begin to exercise that power that worketh in the inside of you is a personal journey in redemption. Yeah. It's a personal journey in redemption. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Sir, he is talking about the dynamic power, dunamis. But that power is invested in the inside of you. Inside of you. Jesus said something the other day. In the book of Luke 11, 13. He said, if ye that are evil know how to good to give good gifts to your children he said how much more your heavenly father how much more he says how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit to those who ask him see the parallel to that scripture is Ephesians 3 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask according to the power 
the investment of the Holy Spirit that has been feeling on us filled you rather it is the refinery that will begin to beckon and begin to outwit and begin to manufacture and begin to propel and cause you to fly in heights and sin before to go into territories and chatter before because it is according to the power that worketh in the inside of you inside please note inside the inner man the inner man the inner man now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think ask or think ask or think and he's put thinking together with asking in the same breath meaning even if you don't pray your thoughts are actually corresponding to what prayer, it is, or prayer is. That is why it's dangerous to be in the gutter in terms of your thinking. That is why Philippians 3 and the, the rest and 4, when you begin to think of these things, is that he begins to give you uh, the, the, the what not to think. Uh, mm, he says, uh, whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are good whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things if there be any good report he mentions the the quadrant there is in the context that uh, you should be able to know that both prayer and thinking unto god is one and the same if you don't refresh your mind by the renewal of your mind he says uh, do not conform to this world but be transformed how does transformation come it is not acquainting yourself um, into many many knowledges out there so that you look uh, transformed um, in terms of your intellectual prowess this is not an enterprise of the mind um, intellectually it is that transformation begins to work from the inside of you the inside Inside of you has been filled with the knowledge of God the inside of you has been filled with the Spirit of God it is that same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead Romans chapter number 8 should be that is able to quicken your motor body by the same spirit we all with an open face he declared behold him as in a glass so what you put your face on to meditate uh, is the one that is crafting how you view what it is you're viewing. He that I even know, Kadabahasha, how to give Junior uh, a good toy, how to give uh, 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 heaven a good um, uh, uh, attention and love and care, how to give uh, uh, burial, how to give whoever whatsoever a good gift. How much more then? will the holy uh, god the father give you the holy spirit and the comparison there is that the best and the entirety of the investment of god for his son which is you and i is the gift of the holy ghost and as if you had me teach on sunday we have limited the holy one of israel to be tongue only and yet he is the man here that can strengthen your ma you with might to the extent that if you find a petite young woman filled with the knowledge of God in length and in depth with the fullness of God strengthened in the inner man that petite young woman could be 14 could be Shammai, could be 16 it could be 25 it could be 80 but the might that that young girl will carry will be able to displace dynamism dynamic power will be able to displace yes because it will work dynamically inside and then exousia will work outside to displace demonic presence behold i give you power 
against to rebuke to cast out and then he says over scorpions and demonic spirits serpents and scorpions that is exousia the displacement of territorial demonic presence by initiating dunamis the power in the inside of a man filled with the holy ghost is a dynamo from where you get the word dynamo dunamis the inner man i should have called it the inner man uh, but it is according to the power according to the power according to the power i, I should be able to say here uh, jesus took a boat the other day and um, together with his disciples bob and on his sojourning due to ministry um uh janice and uh, engagements he took a nap uh, and he slept mm. think about it think about it yeah he slept uh, and the journey was across an ocean a sea it became tumultuous it became uh, uh, windy there was the sea began to become choppy and rough uh, and Jesus uh, kept on sleeping uh, the, the, the the fascinating uh, light here if you may is that Jesus uh, has no respect uh, for the circumstance that the boat uh, is being administered to uh, the, the schooling here in the spirit is that Jesus can yet sleep in a rocking boat uh, in uh, despite of the circumstance and the pain of life sojourning in life Jesus can still sleep yeah care as thou not that we perish they complain yeah 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 he can pick a mattress in someone's life never activated in the corridor of the inner man never activated according to the power that worketh in the inside and so it is the mind of an average believer that it could be that this Jesus is too far off is God is too far off is an in an expanse somewhere there I can, he is not hearing me I have been rejected and I have prayed and I have fasted I have done this all this and all this and it seems as if God is far off he is sleeping never bothered in a boat my Bible declared he arose and he said all ye of little faith he rebuked the wind and spoke to the sea he is telling the disciples this is something you should have done and let me to sleep but because you do not know who you is and the inner man has not been strengthened because of the outpouring of the Spirit of God in a shy I am about living in the upper room John 16 and John 17 I go back to my father it is expedient that I should leave so that the boat story does not repeat you will wake up the inner man the Spirit of God embedded in your vessel you shall be filled with the Holy Ghost and when you are filled with that refinery will not let you sleep you will activate the Spirit of God perpetually you will activate the Jesus in all dimensions you need because at this time he is sleeping and you are not activating him 
circumstance will come to you ladies and gentlemen you and i and if you have no idea of who the refiner is and the refinery the investment of the crude oil that has been purchased and put in the inside of you he will sleep yes the button the 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 efficacy of that refiner and of that refiner will be shut and quiet like pony oil refineries <laughs> yeah the complaint will be there is no dollar the dollars are few uh, the resources are few and yet he is the source of all resources now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all able to do exceeding abundant he says he is referring you to that man to that office and then yet he says even in his epitome at it at his highest dimension it is according to the power that is working in the inside of you the Spirit of God can as well take a nap yes there are many many lives that Jesus has a mattress from mr mattress nine inch springboard with a pillow chopping sleep well well resting and the boat and the boat is rocking the sea is rough and all that that vessel knows is to complain they have not activated the refiner because it is the power of god according 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 it must work according 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 so you work him in the inside of you we ask or think he said abundantly above all we ask or think but it is according to the refinery dynamism he takes growth in both grace and the knowledge of God for one to enter into deep dimensions of dominion in second peter 3 and 18 a verse i love he says but grow in the grace grow in grace and in the knowledge of god grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ grow in grace and in the knowledge what powers sir what powers your dominion process and your dominion experience is not shanda and shouting it is the depth of your knowledge of him mm. according to the power that worketh in the inside and that power sir i came to tell you tonight is the power of the knowledge of that spirit the spirit of god is so vast he has filled you with a dynamic power there are seven dimensions of power but in this context we begin to play around di di uh, uh, dunamis and exousia yeah power to take territories will require uh, 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 exousia for you to displace a different power like he went to in mark chapter number five and took out a legion out of a region and out of a person until they began to beg do not take us out of this region so he displaced the power of demonic presence and filled the man with another dynamic power of the spirit of god you can grow in grace are you growing you can grow in the knowledge of God are you growing in the knowledge of God I usually say it here with you it is what you know that enforces what you bind my people are taken into captivity for the lack of knowledge the knowledge of him 
the knowledge of his spirit the knowledge of who you are in God the knowledge of his love the depth and the height of who he is that he has filled you filled with the fullness of God he will begin to come out of your vessel in the days of adversity in your inner man though frail and weak and yet you are mighty and powerful because what comes out of your vessel is the dynamic power that has worked in the inside yeah hmm dynamism or dynamic power dunamis now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all let me give you one more in Ephesians 1 and 17 Paul is praying earlier on and he says that God of our Lord Jesus uh, Christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge so there is no facility no facet of revelation whatsoever that comes outside the knowledge of God meaning the knowledge your knowledge of who God is you operate miracles based on the knowledge yes of him you do wonder signs and wonders based on the revelation in the knowledge of him not outside of it may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him knowledge that the eyes of your understanding is said being enlightened may know that he may know may know may know so you come into the knowledge you come into understanding having been enlightened in the knowledge of him it will dissipate all the discrepancies that the the flesh begins to speak to you as a higher thought yeah you'll begin to find out that that is a very weak thought for you to think uh, the highest pedigree of a philosopher cannot be able to match the thought of the Son of God that has come from the realm of light. Yeah, the knowledge of God. See, they picked Daniel, a man with the Spirit of God upon him. And he became the master of witches, wizards all kinds of necromancers stargazers all of them with talk with esoteric knowledge were sitting taking notes being tutored mentored being schooled in all realms by daniel the bible declared the spirit of the gods they were testifying the spirit of the gods were upon him and he said in the days of your father twice in the days of your fathers i say this man brought an answer and all of babylon was under the subject of a man that was led by the spirit of god now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think and then he puts there the rider it is according as to how you work him in the ins what has filled your vessel what are you full of the power is working in the inside it might not even show any sign as it were in terms of effervescence outside or goosebumps or something but if it is the refiner and the fuller soap the Holy Ghost the same spirit uh, that rose Jesus from the dead I can guarantee you power in all of its dimension will begin to find expression you've got to work it you've got to work the Holy Ghost in the inside of you work him activate him 
Give me the spirit of wisdom. Release the spirit of discernment. He said in Proverbs chapter number 2 and 3. If you then will cry after knowledge. Lift your voice for understanding. Proverbs 20 should be 27 and 3 if I'm quoting it right. And over our lives. So open up heaven. Let me just confirm that. I think it's Proverbs 2 and 3. Yeah, Proverbs 2 and 3. Proverbs 2 and 3. If thou criest after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasure. Then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. There is such a facility and such a thing as the knowledge of God. It is what you know that enforces what you bind. You see, there are actually no problems in the presence of God. Problems are in the realm of men. And then he empowers the believer with the investment of his spirit. And then go and he says, go then into your world. And begin to influence, bring the kingdom, the facility of the kingdom. I will not leave you destitute. I will bring to you the comforter. He is called the spirit of truth. He will guide thee in all truth. The inner man. Yeah, that is where the spirit of God dwells. He will dwell in you by faith. When you receive him. And then all of a sudden, that dynamic, dynamic power begins to work far above that you can think, that you can imagine. You see, the power that calls those things that be not as though they really are, is not in nomenclature, is not given to verbosity, grammar, is not in repetition and loudness, no is in the depth anchored in the depth of the knowledge of god it is um unfortunate and it is worrisome as to how many in zion have run after the knowledge of god we have run after so much and so many things that are tied around god that look godly that are tied around what god uh, 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 facilitates the knowledge of god is experiential it is experiential because after transformation has come upon upon you that transformation in itself is that you've been so much exposed to the wisdom of God to the dealing of the Word of God because Jesus is the epitome, the wisdom of God. So what you are running into is a facility of a human being, a personality, a man, a person that you know. There is no marriage as I have told you. There is no intimacy from long distance. Never. Can't happen. The periphery will look as if it's the in thing or the, the subject of it, but it, it ain't. They that have been peripheral on the outside, America and Kenya, Kenya and South Africa, will eventually have to join each other because it is not in not only in proximity of uh, personalities that intimacy is cultured. No, is in the knowledge. That is facilitated by that proximity because you can be as close and yet so far. Ah, the people that know their God, knowledge. What is God saying? What does the word of God say? What is my take? I think it should be Leviticus 
where God says unto Moses, And this is what you should do to see the glory of God. The people that know their God shall do, shall work strong, then they shall do. Knowledge precedes action. Knowledge precedes exploits. You are chasing after a result that is tied to your knowledge of that result. Praying for a million dollars and the emptiness of the infrastructure of management towards the million dollars is empty. That account is empty. And so he wants you to touch the knowledge base of how to handle hundred dollars one thousand dollars five hundred thousand uh, it is in the experiential knowledge of that level of management then he can be able to bring in a uh, million dollars and it will not blow your head off the knowledge the knowledge the knowledge that is why there were two trees in the garden the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil knowledge 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 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according so he is full of ability he is full of what he can be able to express and to do he can do exceeding is noted he can do abundantly it is noted and then he says all that is limited based on how you activate the power of the knowledge of the Spirit of God in the inside of you. He says that power is working in the inside. Is working in the inside. Is working in the inside. Huh. Working in the inside. It's very interesting that the Spirit of God shouldn't be dormant in many of our lives but in many of our lives he is dormant we have limited the power of God by tradition and uh, sentiment this that level of pressing and pushing into God belongs to prophets and pastors, apostles. Yeah, people that have a calling. You know me, I just go to church, hear the word, and I am out. That's why your life is looking exactly like that. Dominion is absent because it was taught us and it was taught you that that level of depth to enter into the working power of the Spirit of God requires a press <laughs> and that pressing will bring out the facilities of the Spirit of God unseen before according to the power according to the power Paul declared it Paul said it this way he said I do it is expedient it is not expedient it is expedient that I should come to you in revelations because uh, 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 I know a man in the spirit uh, yeah about seven years ago whether in the flesh or in the spirit he said it in another way he said lest I should be exalted above measure there was given unto me a messenger of Satan to buffet me because of the abundance of revelation. He pressed to an extent that heaven declared if we don't send an ambassador that will come and buffet Paul to 
put him to remain to make him remain humble this man will turn other things will turn the world upside down lest i should be exalted above measure that was given unto me a messenger of satan to buffet me because of the abundance of revelation yeah what are you doing with the holy ghost you will check you will do well to check my video here teaching what would you do with the holy ghost what would you do with the holy ghost meka to salama kantemia pela kuntaki na kadia proskembrekida la varush think about it what is it that you know that the spirit of god has not whispered to you what knowledge are you using and what lens are you using to sight what your sight to name what you're naming my life is an example that despite and in spite of it all I have fixed mine eyes upon the Lord only him only will I worship I know he is able to do exceeding abundantly even through this all though the fig tree will not blossom yet will I rejoice and so the facility that will begin to talk in the inside of me despite circumstances will bring about the fruit of the spirit joy out of joy with joy shall I draw from the wells of salvation and despite and in spite of pain or whatever I bring out joy I I become joyful not happy I become joyful because out of the wells I have drawn a virtue from the depth of the holy ghost you would actually think you are the only one going through what you're going through in the absence of the refinery he said it is according to the power that worketh in the inside of you in the day of adversity men are counted as according to the might that they possess if you faint in the days of your adversity it is that your might in the inner man is small the holy ghost is on a, on a teaspoon he's not become a drum yeah because he will rumble and he will thunder in the inside of you when pain and sorrow ah, and attacks and the enemy and 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 all kinds of stuff that will come railing on you to come to accuse the justice of god he will pull up a song out in the inside of you give your strategy he will talk in the inside because you've activated him <coughs> he will do exceeding abundantly but is according to the power according to the power according to the power that worketh in the inside of you he kum brezibria tala la varusha i like you to pray in the spirit for one moment he luka tim brezufra katidi atala la vosh rakuta kabarada gaza sakabrentoli akaita minatomana many the bible declared in the, for the children of israel limited the holy one of israel they limited they limited they limited they limited they limited your flesh which is your soul is uh, yeah it is talking to you that this thing is not gonna live you're gonna die with this thing you're gonna die broke poor check the calendar tick tock time is running yeah who is talking in the inside of you to counter that paul uh, uh, david declared though the flesh my strength and my flesh will fail god is the strength of my heart psalm 74 and my passion forever god is the strength of my heart 
my portion forever. Who is your portion in the land of the living? Who is your portion in the land of the dead? Who is your portion when spirits are conspiring and they begin to conjure up all kinds of attacks against an average believer? What is talking in the inside of you is according to the power and the effectual working of his power in the inside of you. Now to the intent uh, that the principality and the powers of in heavenly places might be known to the church, might be known by the church rather, the manifold wisdom of God. We are here to teach principalities how to live. To show the all multifaceted, all dimensions, level of wisdom of God. And yet we've become victims. Yet we've become victims. It is according to the knowledge. What you know about God or what you do not know about God is facilitating that refinery to be quiet and it is not churning out oil he said Jesus Christ at that hour cried out at the end of that dinner he said if any man thirst let him come out of his belly in a man shall flow life is carried and is coming out of you is not outside is coming out from the inside of you outside it is what you are inside that you become outside out of his belly he was not talking about the holy ghost so that you can be speaking in tongues only no the knowledge of him he will debunk all kind of tradition he will debunk all kinds of religious mentality and confession. Debunk all kinds of falsehoods. The Holy Ghost that is working in the inside of you. The refiner has become quiet. Because all you have taken there to refine is your issues. Make room for the Holy Ghost. He said, now unto him be glory. Be glory in the church. So for the church and the body of Christ, you and I to see the glory of God. We must work the works of him that has sent us by the Spirit while it is day. For night has now come. Oh yes, when many cannot work. But for the glory of God to be seen in our lives as the body of Christ. It is, unto the, is according to the power. That work it in the inside of us. Like now to pray for you and then we quit. We've come to the end of that service tonight. Le combre sombri kitaliatina. I'd like you to open up your mouth and begin to pray whatever it is that you are. Have you limited the Holy One of Israel by your shallow understanding of the Word of God? You ain't attracted to the pages of the book. You cannot be able to run this tape over and over again. You can never be able to learn the things of the Spirit unless you are humble enough to take dozens and token after token. To whom shall we teach doctrine? Yes, to whom shall we teach knowledge rather? And to whom shall we make to understand doctrine? He said to those that have been weaned from the milk. Yes, from the milk. From the milk. Milk, milk is for the unskillful in the word of faith, in the word of light. Yes, but strong meat is for them that by reason of use have had their senses exercised. Milika soma na kampemia, lobres kombreti livi ina kontania. You want to understand the fear of God and to find the knowledge of God. He says, cry after the knowledge. Cry after knowledge. Lift your voice for understanding. Proverbs 2 and 3. Cry to the knowledge of God. Ila soti kama. Longembrendos kombrekita livaruse. Yeah. Yes, this book of the Lord, Joshua, shall not depart. It is because your environment and your system 
has been short circuited by the realities of what it is that you've gone through and you're going through might have gone through. It has limited the Holy One of Israel. And there is something embedded in the pages of this book. Light, the breath of God that wrote the scripture, the Holy Ghost in the inside of you is waiting for you to activate the word of life. That is why prayer can be shut. You can be dried up in your prayer life because you are not wadded life. Your life is not wadded. It is the word of God that empowers and influences and sponsors depth of prayer. The knowledge of the word of God. Not just memory verse. No sir. It's beyond memory verse. It's life. Life, the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. He didn't say they are memory verses. Peru Sonia Company, tell him tonight, bring me, bring me to the knowledge, the knowledge of God. It is according to the power. The people that know their God, the people that do know their God, the people that do know their God. It is not corporate, it is individual, the people that do know their God. Shall work strong. The absence of the strength that you should have right now currently is because you, there is something about your God that you hardly know. It is the same temptation, the old age temptation. Did God say, did God say, did God say, he is checking your knowledge of what it is that you know God said. And he twisted the truth because he's the master of lies. I want you to come against every piece of lie that has been sold to you by religion, sold to you by the flesh, sold to you. By the reality of your circumstance, sold to you by ignorance, every lie come against, yes, every high thing that has exalted itself above the knowledge of God, above the knowledge of, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Pull down every stronghold that has come to accuse the justice of God, the word of God, the faithfulness of God. The love of God that has been shed across in your heart. Yes, the, 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 the infallibility of God's word. Bring down every stronghold. Leave him alone to be exalted. Let him alone and his word to be exalted and to perforate your heart. To fill your heart with the knowledge of God. In a sola kim prendo seriri biantela. Zuza vahana kampe minakuda. Sakompa lika tunteni atina vanahan. Lore beru seke brentoli akaita manahana. For such that do wickedly against the covenant, Daniel 11 and 32. He will flatter, he will, he will, he will corrupt with flatteries. And then he says, but the people that do know their God. He will furnish you with wisdom beyond the faculties. He will furnish you with the spirit of discernment. You can discern the moment, the season, discern the situation, discern the people, discern the time. He can furnish you with direction. He can furnish you. Yes, though I, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, there is something I know while I'm walking down there. I find comfort in this one thing. That he that began a good work in the inside of my vessel is able to perfect it. What is this? Who are thou, O mountain? Who are thou, O sickness? Who are thou, O cancer? Who are thou, O HIV? Who are thou temporary situation? You will address the mountain according to the knowledge of who you know. What you know about God. 
I come to you, O Goliath, in the name of the God of hosts, whom you have denied, I defy today. I know him because when I kept my father's sheep, Saul, you should know, a bear and a lion came for the lamb. And by the might of God, I tore them apart. Who is this? The testimonies of the Lord are sure. What testimony have you got that you can walk and tuck out of your out of your, your secret place and tuck it out and bring him out out of the, the, the pocket that you carry in life and bring it to the face of a giant. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. He didn't even say that demons involved yet. He says the lack of knowledge. But what knowledge? The knowledge of God. The knowledge of God. The knowledge of God. Oh yes. It will facilitate your confession. It will facilitate your vocabulary. It will begin to galvanize you through power words. It will manufacture nomenclature and stuff that will come out of your mouth. Because you are full of him. Therefore, he will talk through you because you're full of him. In Akosha, Ilakua Takaparas Combre, Liribia to Seribe on Takinai. Yeah, yeah. The three Hebrew boys were full of him, and yet they were in the old covenant. They walked with him, and yet they walked with that covenant to the extent that they had no time to answer. They said, O king, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Yeah, we are not careful. We are not careful to answer you on this matter, O Nebuchadnezzar. If our God shall serve us, he will serve us. If he does not, we still maintain our confession. We're not going to bow. You see, you need to check the confidence of a man because it is tied to experiential knowledge of something he knows. He has touched something in the realm of spirits. It galvanizes his physical confidence. It's not arrogance. It's the knowledge. That's why a witch can talk anyhow. That's how persons that have been uh, immersed in something scrupulous in the spirit, dark, and they are tied to some altar with some dark powers, uh, will talk anyhow and point at you and point to an average man that has no spiritual covering, has no depth of the spirit uh, or spiritual world or spiritual systems. They will talk anyhow and tell you, I will show you when I am finished with you. Because they are empowered by some knowledge. It's something they know, sir. They know. They know. The people that know their God. The people that know their God. The people that... They, I know you know the problem. I know you know the situation. I know you know the sickness. You have the ten, you, you have the, the, the documents, the paperwork, you know, you have the diagnosis. You know, you know, you know the issue. But do you know the God that is able to do? That is able to do. Exceeding abundant. Do you know him? Or do you know about him? If thou Christ after knowledge lift up your voice for understanding is a tragedy of our of of the 21st century church yeah people are running after the evidence the byproducts that should come after men have been immersed in the knowledge of him and we have built an entire theology right there. But if there is a man that can find the knowledge of God, if you will understand the fear of God, he says, cry after knowledge. Lift your voice for understanding. He said, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. 
doth not wisdom cry therefore and understanding put forth her voice she stands at the end of the city to you O men I call come up hither let me show you a part of me Moses let me take you into the inner crevices the inner chamber oh, the Lord came from Mount Teman the Holy One from Mount Peran clouds and thick darkness were round about him the Bible declared in the book of Habakkuk uh, mm, chapter number two is it three and the Bible declare in his hands were two horns and there was the hiding place of his power Job declared it the other day he said oh that I were in my former days in my younger years when light by light by light I commanded respects I commanded respect by light by light in the knowledge of him your circumstance is at the mercy of the grace of God upon your life and the knowledge of God yeah yeah second Peter 3 and 18 grow in grace and in the knowledge of God thank you Holy Father thank you father unfortunately what I have taught you tonight we cannot be able to finish it in one night but we've got to stop hear me and hear me well in these last days what will separate men in different colors is the glory of God that has come as a result of their knowledge of him and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him father we thank you tonight we bless your name we give you glory Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost and the vast island that he is furnish proceeding word and the body of Christ at large in our quest to strive for mastery we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus bring us to the knowledge of you in our prayer life in the midst of our conf con confusion bring clarity by your spirit by your spirit by your spirit strengthen oh god a man and a woman tonight in their inner man in the mighty name of jesus stretch for thine hand oh god pull a man pull a woman out of the mary clay out of the dungeon of confusion yes the situation is not pitiable the situation is resolvable the situation is not pitiable the situation the issue the pain the whatsoever it can't be taken out by the knowledge of God I bring you good news tonight that at marvelous light indeed is marvelous the end of his word bringeth light gives understanding to the simple the people that do know their God oh we give you glory tonight blessed be thy holy name in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen God bless each and every one of you you wanna give uh, go ahead I wanna bless specific people here Titus and people that have given sacrificially to this ministry I wanna take time and stretch my hands to you and decree and declare to every man to every partner to every man and woman watching me or watch after will watch after this that has dipped their hand into the place of sacrifice and to the kingdom of God as touching proceeding word mandate I stretch my hands to you in the name of the Lord and I decree and declare to every tither and to every son to every daughter to every man in the kingdom of God and everywhere home and abroad 
that is sacrificing even in this hour that is giving even in this hour that has sacrificed and put on the altar for the kingdom of god and for the work of the ministry to proceed on i decree and declare the blessing of joseph that you'll become a fruitful bow in the land of the living that the enemies will be subdued and this enemy of poverty lack and immediate needs that keep on recurring and the glut that the enemy and us has had a chokehold i decreed the blessing of Hagar chapter number one and malachi chapter number three to come upon you in the mighty name of jesus let vats open let the vats of Adonai, the oil that sits in the glory of God, come upon you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. And yet your righteousness shall still endure forever. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Go ahead and give and it shall be given unto you. I will not overemphasize uh, the need to partner with proceeding word and to be able also to do ministry with finance. I will teach those things when God will permit me. But yes, uh, in these last days, in these few days, in these few weeks and months, quieted me down. And he told me, let me work on the people. You teach what I tell you to teach. And uh, do not overemphasize on the issue of money. And so if you find me quiet, even on certain things, it's because he gives me instruction part time as to what to do. And I know the place of encouragement and to tell you this and that, what the word of God regarding finance. But that is not my meat now and my bone now. So I leave you to it to obey as according to the dealing of the Spirit of God. Until I come your way, I together and the First Lady will love you to life. As we always say it here, if it is not God we serve, then we serve nothing at all. Proceeding one, we'll meet you Friday night at Infantry. Tomorrow night, I have my people there, right there in the U.S. Tomorrow morning, uh, night your time. The little fellowship that we have pay attention to that link is coming up for you as requested in the name of jesus shalom god bless you love you to life amen Kingdom, there will be.